Yesterday, at time of recording, marked the third and final virtual Doctor Who panel at this year's virtual New York Comic Con, and this was about the Doctor Who games being released next year by Maze Theory in partnership with Kaigen Games. Now, they announced two full games and one update for The Edge of Time, which was the VR game released last year, which will add a Time Lord Victorious DLC to it. It's not really much to say about that, but I'm going to talk about the two other games. Now, this first one is called Doctor Who The Lonely Assassins and is being made by Maze Theory in partnership with Kaigen Games for Android, iOS and Nintendo Switch and is coming out next year. And it stars the Weeping Angels and also Osgood, the character who first been dead, the Doctor has made multiple appearances in the unit since. And Osgood's a great character and it's really cool to see her back in this game. This game is going to be part of the found phone genre, a genre which not many people are familiar with, I'm not familiar with it either, but it basically involves, from what I understand, almost like you found a random phone lying on the street and you have to search for information to solve puzzles and things, and this is a horror game with the Weeping Angels, and it acts as a sequel to Blink. They said at the end of Blink, the angels get frozen inside of Wester Drumlins. And they said this game acts as a sequel. What if someone went back into West of Drumlins and accidentally released the Weeping Angels? From the trailer, it also looks like it has Lawrence from the episode Blink in it as well. I think there's a brief shot of him. But this all sounds really, really cool. And you can tell they were really passionate about making this if you watch the panel. And I don't really have too much to say on it. There's not really much more information I can say on it. But apart from the fact that it sounds really cool and really excited. But then we've got the second game. The big one, called The Edge of Reality. Now the panel yesterday made this seem really confusing. Because they said some things about how it's going to build on the edge of time and adapt it for a console setting. And many people took this to believe that this was just going to be the edge of time, just non-VR. But by the end of the panel and through reading the website, we know this isn't the case, but the panel was slightly confusing. But what I think it meant by that was the fact they're going to take the core concept of the first person game where you're running around the sonic screwdriver solving puzzles and things and then going to adapt that core gameplay mechanic to console setting to build a whole original new game around it and this all sounds really exciting but then we had the announcement of some things in the game and this is going to be a first person game involving daleks cybermen weeping angels and the tenth doctor as well as the 13th Doctor being a crossover between the current era of the show and the 10th Doctor's era. And this is really, really exciting. They said that the 13th Doctor is going to be guiding you from the TARDIS or something, whereas you're going to be with the 10th Doctor for most of the game and helping do things with him. This is really exciting and was really unexpected. And I am super, super excited for this. Now, a lot of people have been saying that David Tennant's been in quite a lot of the Doctor Who spin-off expanded media stuff recently, and they're not too happy to see him crop up here as well, but I mean, who's not happy to see David Tennant around if he's available? But this just... Yeah, I kind of get why he's in this game. He is probably the most profitable Doctor, and it's just really cool to see him have a crossover with the 13th Doctor in this game, it's going to be really interesting to play as, well, play with multiple Doctors, and this is really, really exciting. On the website, also in the description of the game, it said it would include Daleks, Cybermen, Weeping Angels, and more foes yet to be revealed, and we have located one of those foes. On the website, if you scroll down, there is a picture of some Ice Warriors, as well as some other pictures of other bits from the game, but all the pictures on the website look really good. I think they might be actual in-game images, I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me on that anywhere. But the Ice Warriors look really nice, the models look really high res, the texture, everything about it makes this image seem really nice and really exciting. And it says more foes yet to be revealed, so I'm really intrigued to see what other villains pop up in the game. I wonder who will be the main villain, it could be the Dalek, it could be the Cybermen. But in a few days ago, a website popped up for both the games which involved codes, and if you solved the code, you got a message. The first one was about the Lonely Assassins, the Weeping Angels game, which involved a message from Osgood. However, the second one was called chaosverse.com, and it had a code which related to this game, The Edge of Reality. And in it, it said, you are our last hope, and we need to stop him. And 
wondering about who this him is because first thought was it could be related to the time Lord Victorious with the Tenth Doctor being the villain but even though it has the Tenth Doctor in we now know this is not related to Time Lord Victorious at all the Time Lord Victorious thing is a DLC for the Edge of Time is its own separate thing which continues the story of the Edge of Time more on that in a minute but it could be someone like the Master or Omega which would be really interesting as they could provide some really unique gameplay to the game they also said it continues the story from the Edge of Time. So if you have played the Edge of Time, this is going to be cool because whilst playing the story, you're going to pick up on some of the things that are references back to the Edge of Time. If you haven't played it, you can still pick it up and play it. You don't need to have played the Edge of Time to play this. But they said if you have played the Edge of Time, then you're going to notice some really cool Easter eggs and things and notice that this is a continuation of the story that began in that game. And these games sound really exciting. And there's not really much more to say about them because we don't have much information. But the teaser trailer looked really cool and I cannot wait for these to come out in 2021. So the Alonia Assassins comes out for iOS, Android, Nintendo Switch. 2021 and the edge of reality comes out for playstation xbox and nintendo switch also in 2021 that's all i really have to say about this in the meantime i've been cyberman alpha and from me for now it's goodbye